Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Timster. Today I'm going to be going over aligning an object with the ground in the Blender Game Engine. So basically, uh, say you have some sort of player or player movement cube or something, and you basically want your player to align with the slope so he can move up it. So at the moment, if you just add normal motion like that, uh, most of the time if they go up a slope, they'll sort of get stuck uh, moving up like so, and they won't be able to move any further. Now this can be really annoying, especially if the slope is uh, very gradual. Um, very often the sort of movement cube or whatever will get stuck even uh, after it's only going up a short way. So an easy solution to that is to align the player to the uh, sort of ground that he's moving on. And you can do all of this with a simple script. Uh, as we have over here. So as you can see here, each side is sort of aligned to the face that it's on. So I use this in my Blender Game Engine making challenge uh, 14, so the one where I had the little cart game, and basically when the players were going over a bridge or something, uh, then I'd use a script to sort of align them going over the bridge so they wouldn't get stuck moving in a straight line. So anyway, that's what we're going to be going over in this tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to delete this, so we're just starting from scratch uh, with this cool terrain that I quickly made here. So the first thing I'm going to do is move this terrain. Uh, so if you don't already have some terrain or something you want to do, then uh, make some to test it on. Uh, just randomly extruding out the uh, plane here. So basically just select the side and then press E and click multiple times. There we go. And now what we're going to do is add in our player. So let's move him up. Chances are in the physics he'll either be rigid body or dynamic. Dynamic is usually the normal one to use. Also you could use character if you wanted to. Collision bounce as well. And we need, uh, first of all, we just need his normal movement. So let's just say space to move forwards. And let's give him some motion. Alright, so maybe something like that. Uh, now there are the different types of motion, simple motion, uh, and there is also servo control, which is applying a certain amount of force uh, the whole time. So either way, up to you. So if you wanted to use simple motion instead, uh, yeah, that could work as well. So to align this cube to the ground, we're going to go over here, add ourselves a ray sensor, leave the name as ray, and uh, check for the property ground. So your terrain here will have to have a property called ground. Or what you can do instead is choose material and then choose the ground material. Uh, but again, that's up to you. The range, you have to be careful about this. So basically, if I go uh, into this view, the range, I think, from here to here with the default cube is 1. So from the middle to the very edge is 1. So what you want to do is, depending on the scale of your player cube and stuff, uh, you want to make sure that the ray here is below the line itself. So maybe be a little bit generous, um, maybe two or three, uh, so you can sort of make sure that you are getting the ground movement. Then also select X-ray here and choose negative Z. Choose true pulse here as well, so it's constantly checking. And then over here, add a Python, join it in. And then down the description below will be the script uh, I may as well just copy and paste it in the description itself. Uh, but basically copy and paste that and then uh, go over here. We'll just copy that, make a new text block, name it, I don't know, align.py or something. Uh, control V to paste it in and then select it from here. So the new script that we made. And so now if you press numpad zero and we parent this to the cube, control P and parent. Go to texture mode, press P, and spacebar, and there you go. Our player is aligning with the ground, which is cool. There we go, all of that done. Sweet, so yeah, that is about it. Uh, very simple tutorial, but very useful. Uh, can be used in a lot of instances. Now one more thing, uh, this uh, script here, again, was from a help thread when I wasn't quite sure how to align a player on the ground itself uh, for my entry. So the script here was written by Blueprint Random uh, over on Blender Artist, so I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below, as well as the original post with all of this stuff on it and the examples. 
Uh, but yeah, that'll be about it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like, comment, or share down below. Uh, all of that stuff would be super greatly appreciated. If you have any other comments or requests or anything, leave them down there as well. But apart from that, that'll be it for this tutorial. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.